Well, it is exciting. It's also a daunting project, quite frankly. Uh, between Coca-Cola and FIFA, there's an amazing amount of protocols and requirements. And my marketing assistant, Jennifer Keats, and I have been working diligently on this for a month and a half. It is exciting for the whole island because the Coca-Cola and FIFA World Cup Trophy Tour is going to last nine months from September 12th when it started in Brazil all the way through to April next year. I haven't even bothered counting how many months that is, but it, it's uh, going to 88, 89 countries around the world, and we're really, really lucky uh, that it's coming here to Bermuda. Now, you know Bermuda is full of football enthusiasts. Um, how, how, how does one really get a chance to have that lucky moment of having the picture taken with the trophy, getting up and close and personal with it? Well, we're running a, a contest, and there's no purchase required. We want to make it as easy as possible. There are entry forms in the Bermuda Sun and the Bullpen Royal Gazette, so the newspapers are entry forms. You can use those original entry forms. You can make photocopies. The idea is, is we want to make it as, as open as possible. You have to be above 12 years old. There's, there's restrictions from a security standpoint from that standpoint. So anyone who's 12 years old and up can enter. Uh, there are drop-off boxes here at John Barrett Sun, also at the Pro Shop on Reed Street. And the entry deadline is 5 o'clock on Monday, September the 30th. After that, we'll make a draw from those entries and uh, get a hold of, of 300 lucky people who will have their opportunity on October 9th to be photographed with the authentic FIFA World Cup trophy. Now, have all the logistics of where these photos will be taken, uh, what the, where the, the actual trophy will be displayed, have all those logistics been worked out? Absolutely. The, the main public uh, exhibition viewing is at Camden, the Premier's official residence in the Botanical Gardens. We have the full cooperation of the Cabinet Office, as well as the Parks Department, and all the attended services. We have strict security, will be required to have a photo ID, has to match up with the name um, of the person who is drawn. Uh, you will only be given entry with the valid ticket. So there's multiple layers of security protocols in place. Um, We'll have covered seating for people to wait for their turn. We'll have uh, music and refreshments. It will be uh, an, an orderly and well-controlled process. And we're working with the BFA so that a separate draw for Bermuda for youth football players will be held. So aside from the 300 members of the public who enter the general draw, there will also be an opportunity for registered BFA youth football players 12 years old and up to get a chance to have their photograph taken in the cup as well. Now, is there any other opportunity that the general public will get a chance to see it, not necessarily get a picture taken with it, but get to see it while it's on the island? No, the, the sad reality is, is they're detouring from the Caribbean to come up to Bermuda and the, the cup the trophy and its attendant security and FIFA reps and the global team is only here, not even for 24 hours. Uh, they arrive at 12 noon and depart at 9 a.m. the next day. So we are, we are doing our level best to squeeze as much viewing time, if you will, out of this opportunity. But uh, between security protocols, uh, the, the usual attendant, immigration, customs, transportation, that, there's only so many hours in a day, or oh, there's only so many hours that, that the, the, the trophy will be available for the public to see. So we're, we're trying to get the max out of it, um, and I, I think we pretty well got the max out of it. Uh, 
uh, yeah. with the yeah. events that we have planned. So the, the public will really need to get their entries in for this draw. You can use the original entry form oh, the paper or a reproduction. Clip this ad out, put it on a photocopy, you know, make, make multiple copies, enter as many times as you want. As they say, there's no purchase required. Uh, this is something that Coca Cola and John Barrett want to bring uh, and make accessible to as many people as possible. So it's not like you have to buy a product because if you can't buy a ticket. It's one of those even handed random draws. All right, cool. Uh, the idea of ensuring that the widest possible cross section of the Bermuda football fandom gets a chance. Um, it's all right. Could you call your contact? I'm at DCI. No, I know you said uh, people would be able to see it in the music. You also added the sound factor to it, but they'd be able to get it online. Isn't, the, isn't that something? I'm so glad you reminded me. <laughs> me being the dinosaur that I am, I'm, I'm the online. I probably should. I asked them. Yes. Island Stats. What does that say about it? Island Stats will have they must have gotten the source on, no, on their it. website. I asked him, he said he didn't say much. He just said, online, strange. Click on the iPhone, download, and then make a reproduction the, uh, there. So yes, thank you the, for um, reminding me.